Hello everyone, I'm your host Heather Dawson and welcome to our special Halloween episode of California Life. We're here at the happiest place on earth. Now let's check in with Audra Stafford to see what's being scared up for Halloween time. For the first time ever, Cars Land is getting in on the Halloween celebrations here at the Disneyland Resort, transforming Radiator Springs into Radiator Screams. And that's just one of the many fun Halloween time celebrations you'll find around the Disneyland Resort. From the giant Oogie Boogie looming over the entrance to the bats on Buena Vista Street. There's no shortage of spooky at Disney California Adventure. And when you step into Cars Land, the fun really gets revved up. All of the characters from our land have decorated their businesses and their homes as uh, the Halloween spirit. And it's Halloween, yeah, right? Yeah, it's Halloween. Because they're hauling all that good stuff. <laughs> and everything it. is themed to, to the car parts, so it's, it's very cool to be here right now. Pretty amazing, and I love all the costumes. Obviously, Pirate Crew's here. I, I know Mater is dressed up as a vampire. Yeah, he's, he's very cool. Well, hi, rookie. It's great to meet you. We also have Lightning McQueen as a superhero because like that's what that. he is. And then, of course, there's the scare car. And if you want a really good scare, they've got that too. So we are inside Monsters After Dark. Yes, that's right. So in the daytime, it's Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. And in the night, it transforms over to Guardians of the Galaxy Monsters After Dark. So it's a darker, spookier version of this attraction that's here just for the Halloween season. Okay, I've been on this ride several times. Not the Monsters After Dark, but the regular Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy Mission Breakout ride. It is scary enough. <laughs> you had to make it even scarier. Yes, yes, it's darker, it's spookier. There's a unique song to it. It's an all new storyline. So we've really tried to transform this attraction into a completely new attraction. In addition to all the new attractions, <laughs> There are all the old favorites over at Disneyland. Like Space Mountain Ghost Galaxy, Haunted Mansion Holiday, and the Pumpkin Festival on Main Street. We have the Dia de los Muertos celebration over there as well. So much to see here at the Disneyland Resort, but definitely come check out Cars Land because it's brand new this year. You can check it all out between now and October 31st. Coming up next, we take you to one of the festive areas of the parks you don't want to miss. Stay with us right here on California Life. Feast your eyes on this table full of treats. They're all being cooked up here for Halloween time at the Disneyland Resort. Coming up, I'm going to show you one that you can make at home and cook up a little Disney magic. Mmm, so good. We're back here at Disney California Adventure, and now let's check in with Audra Stafford to see what tasty treats she's cooking up. From Day of the Dead apples here to Jack Skellington cake pops, there is no shortage of ghoulish goodies here at the Disneyland Resort during Halloween time. And I've got master candy maker Rob McHarg here with me. He's going to show us one easy recipe. It's easy because I've actually made these before that you can make at home. You can. This is very easy to do yes. at home. So today we're going to be doing the Mickey Crispy Treat. Yes. And we have already gotten it started for you. So we've dipped the crispy in the white chocolate. Okay. And we've given him his eyes. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish the decorating. Real quick, how do you get this Mickey shape? Is this a cookie cutter kind of thing or do you just kind of craft a it? It is a cookie cutter. A cookie cutter, cutter. Yeah. okay. Or I guess you could just make circles and then kind of stick them together too if you, you didn't have one of those. You whatever you need to do to do it. I love that, that's yeah. nice and easy. All right, so we're gonna decorate this guy here. So you have a, a container of white chocolate there. Okay. So you're going to take your squeeze bottle. All right. We're going to put six dots around each eye, starting in the middle. Okay. And then you're going to go out to about nine o'clock. And then you want to put two dots in between up at the top. Okay. And two dots at the bottom. Okay. Now we're going to do the other side, so at three o'clock. Uh-oh, three. There we go. And then two dots <laughs> at the top. I'm always late, so I'm not good with my and times. two dots at the bottom. All right. There we go. Now, those don't show up very much. So no, we're they put don't. So we're going to these in this green sanding oh, sugar. Oh, okay. And that's going to be adhere to that chocolate. All right. Here we go. That's it. And then you just shake it off? You just dump it over, and, and the white chocolate is the glue. I love that. Very fun. Okay. So now we're going to give him an eyebrow. So oh, okay. So using the white chocolate, we're just going to draw a, a bat 
or an M right across the top. Oh, like a nice little unibrow there. There okay. you go. There we go. And that we're going to do in blue. So we want to make it very colorful. Rob, I feel like mine is not going to look quite as good as yours. Well, maybe after 43 years, <laughs> you'll be uh, doing pretty good. That's all it takes, huh? There we go. Oh, very not good, so bad. Yeah, see, okay. It's, it's taking shape. Okay. Now we're going to finish Mickey off with a nice big smile. So we're okay. going to use a dark chocolate. Yeah, my favorite. And we're just going to give him a big mouth here and make him smile for us. Okay. And then for Halloween, we're going to give him little hash marks across. Okay, he's all stitched up there. How do you not find yourself taste testing the whole time you're doing this? Well, we do test, taste test when we are <laughs> developing a new product, but after that, you kind of get tired of it. You've developed yeah. all kinds of new things here for Halloween time, too. We have, yeah. We've done it. Every year we add something new. Big theme for the year this year for California Adventure is uh, Oogie Boogie. You may have seen it yes. out at the main entrance. Yes. So we actually did a crispy uh, Oogie Boogie. Okay, so something else to look for when you're here. Are we done? We are. So this is our Mickey Crispy Treat. There we are. You can make these at home or you can come enjoy them here at the Disneyland Resort through October 31st. <laughs> Welcome back. It's a festivity you don't want to miss here at the Disneyland Resort. Joining me now is the creative director here Hi. at Susanna. Hi, Hi. nice Hello, to everyone. see you. Thank you. Tell us what we're visiting here. So here we have Plaza de la Familia. It's a beautiful celebration of the everlasting bonds of family. And also we're celebrating the arrival of our new Disney Pixar film, Coco. My girls are very excited yeah. about that. And it has a special meaning as well. It does. It really touches on the everlasting bonds of those who have passed on, but we still remember lovingly. So we've been able to do this amazing tribute to the spirit of Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead, but more importantly also to engage all of our audience into the celebration. So we have this beautiful iconic Tree of Life, which is a Mexican folk art piece where people can take photos in front of it, but also write their memories to their loved ones and hang it on the memory wall. We have an exhibit with all the images from the land of the dead and the Santa Cecilia where the little boy Miguel, he goes into, throughout the film, he goes on this magical journey. And as you can hear behind me, we have the storytellers of, of Plaza de la Familia, which are the mariachi divas and the Relampago del Cielo folkloric dance group. And we have a narrator who's not here today who tells the story of the film. And through music and dance and puppets, we've got great food, delicious Mexican pan de muertos, you know, and music all around. We just walked through it and the face painting and you really are transformed into another place. Yeah, we're, we're wanting all audiences to be educated about this cultural experience, but also to have fun in that way that only Disney can bring that magic to our cultural celebrations. Is it neat for you to see all this come to life? Oh, it's wonderful, especially because people are so moved. Like, we actually have emotional responses to this, especially during these difficult times, as you know. You know, just to be able to touch a chord, an emotional chord with our family is very important, while at the same time keeping up that entertainment and that levity that, we, that characterizes our theme parks, of course. That is so true here at the happiest place on earth. Let's sure. listen to him for Let's, a bit. A little bit of the storytellers of Plaza de la Familia. Here Thank we go. You. Gardens of the Galaxy Monsters After Dark, the all new ride you have to check out here at Halloween time. Oh no! Oh, there's a Terran in here. You're not supposed to be oh. here. Um, we are experiencing some technical issues, but not to worry, we are perfectly safe as long as the lights remain on. Oh, oh. Oh. That's not good. Uh, just one moment, let me consult. Uh, oh, Feta? Would you mind just explaining to our guest exactly what is going on? Ladies and gentlemen, we're experiencing some minor power outages that may have affected the locks on the cages. Um, stop! We're perfectly safe! <laughs> I think I gotta get out of here, so we're gonna go check out some more stuff here at Halloween time. Yes, uh, thank you for coming 
captured the Tibon. Wait for me! Hi, thanks so much for having me. I'm so excited to be working with Amazon Prime this year on some really fun ideas for Halloween that I know you're gonna love. So yes, I want you to think outside of the box and use that box to make one-of-a-kind DIY box costumes or box dooms, as we like to call them. Amazon Prime members or really anyone can get crafty and creative by simply upcycling smile boxes. Creating a box doom is easy because you use items you likely already have or have easy access to, like boxes and simple craft supplies. All you need is a little imagination. For example, you can make an Amazon Echo or a car box doom with just a few boxes, colored paper, and hot glue. If you're looking for a fun way to DIY this Halloween, box dooms are perfect to express your creativity and stand out at any Halloween party. It's a great way to get crafty with family and friends and create costumes, whether they're for teens, adults, couples, groups of friends, or even children. I'm actually gonna be making a dinosaur box doom for my older son, Yago, which is gonna be a really fun way for us to spend time together, and I know he's gonna be so proud to wear a costume that he helped create and is uniquely him. If you want ideas for your very own creations, check out Prime Insider for more box doom ideas at amazon.com slash boxdooms2019. Happy Halloween, everyone. A recent National Association of Home Builders survey revealed that 69% of its members were already experiencing delays in completing projects on time due to a shortage of qualified workers. This really affects us all. I mean, we're talking about uh, carpenters and plumbers and electricians and HVAC techs. Matt Reisinger is a professional contractor working to help strengthen construction skilled trades. Lowe's and about 60 other partners uh, started this movement called Generation T. And this is a movement that's really intended to, to help educate young people on what a career might look like in the trades. This month, hundreds of high school students got firsthand experience in the skilled trades. I'm actually uh, right at the entrance of the Rose Bowl. We've got 300 Southern California high school students that are all involved in the Skills USA Carpentry Training Program. We're actually going to be building 100 bunk beds for an organization called Sleep and Heavenly Peace. Learn more about the mission to support skilled trades at We Are Generation T.com. The only place you want to see flames in your home is in the fireplace. Here's how you can keep it that way. The first thing I recommend is having a working smoke detector on at, le at least one on every level of your home. Um, the, most of the fat fatalities that occur in home fires are, are because people didn't have working smoke detectors in their house. Smoke detectors lose their effectiveness in 10 years, so remember the saying, toss at 10, start again and replace your old devices. We've got some great technology. We work with one of our partners, Kitta, you've probably heard of them, to develop a 10-year worry-free smoke detector. It's got a sealed battery inside. You never have to worry about replacing the battery. Um, they talk to each other, so wherever they are in the house, they'll all alert you at the same time. This new generation of smoke detectors can even send an alert to your smartphone if there's a problem in your home. A final note, when replacing your old smoke alarms, look for devices that combine both smoke and carbon monoxide detectors in one unit. Everyday sound. It's something we often take for granted, but for many, it's a struggle. Hearing loss is an often misunderstood condition that impacts some 48 million Americans. And while you may not realize it, hearing health is an essential part of life because hearing connects you with people and helps build and maintain interpersonal relationships. Fortunately, experts say the signs of hearing loss can be easy to recognize. If somebody is leaning in, even if they're squinting at you as they're trying to track the conversation, uh, if they're asking you to repeat yourself or if the television has to go up louder than what's comfortable for others, these are all indicators that somebody or yourself is really having some hearing concerns. Yet, despite the serious consequences of hearing loss, experts find that many people are reluctant to admit they have a problem. They perceive that there's a stigma associated with hearing loss um, they feel um, that 
you know, hearing loss means I'm getting old and nobody wants to get old. And experts say hearing loss can lead to other problems as well. There is a documented connection between untreated hearing loss and dementia. Uh, there is social isolation that people experience. But there are many ways to combat hearing loss, including hearing aids. For Dr. Soilis, hearing aids provided amazing relief. Before I got hearing aids, it, it seemed like I was just underwater and everything around me sounded muffled and unclear. But once I got hearing aids, it, it was as if I was just emerging out of that water. With that in mind, October is National Protect Your Hearing Month. And through the Campaign for Better Hearing, there's an effort to make everyone aware of the importance of getting your hearing checked. The goal is to raise awareness of the consequences of hearing loss and to put hearing care on everybody's health care agenda. And we're doing this by providing complimentary hearing assessments to anybody 60 years and older in our Hearing Life Centers. And you can learn more about the free hearing exams at hearinglife.com. You'll see a wealth of information about the campaign, hearing aids, hearing loss, and hearing protection. A good reminder, no matter your age, to get your hearing checked. Bringing you the best of California, I'm David Wiley for California Life. If you were under the impression that it took a $500,000 race car to come out and drive a track like Auto Club Speedway here in Fontana, California, well, guess again, through events like this, you can bring out your everyday driver and have some fun out on the track. It's known as Track Night, and through this initiative from the Sports Car Club of America, drivers are being introduced to the opportunity of taking their everyday car and getting the chance to drive on a real race circuit. But unlike other events conducted by the SCCA, Track night is not meant to be an outright racing event, but instead just a safe and controlled way of driving your streetcar in a high performance environment. SCCA Track Night in America, powered by the Tire Rack, is all about having fun with cars. That's the big key. Um, everybody's here to have fun, they're in their streetcars, everybody plays nice together, everybody has a good time, everybody brings a car home in one piece. That's our big goal for the night. Fun and uh, be, be ready to come back for next time. So this is a great way for the absolute amateur to come out and enjoy a track experience. Very much. We have a novice group with novice coaches that uh, get you up to speed at your level, your comfort level. We get you out on track. We let you circulate at the pace you're comfortable with. We do all the passing with a point by, and that gets everybody that's going by anybody on the same page. And when everybody's working together on the same team, it works real well. So it doesn't even necessarily mean you come out with a hot race car. Race car, we don't even want race cars here. It's a street car thing, bring new people in. Uh, there are a lot of programs to get race cars on the racetrack. This is a program to get new people to give a try to take their street car out on the racetrack. Judging by the excitement created by track night, its purpose is certainly being achieved. Uh, so you've done track days previous? Uh, no, I haven't actually, this is my first one. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. So what are you anticipating here in this first? Um, I don't know, just go, looking forward to go have some fun. <laughs> So it's just pretty much about just going out and just having a blast. Yeah, yeah, I want to throw the car around. <laughs> so obviously you drive this like on an everyday basis. Yeah, it's my everyday car, so if I don't make it home today, I probably won't make it to work on Monday. <laughs> Even I couldn't resist the opportunity to take out my humble little Mazda and get in some track time. Well, if you ever had an inkling to be like Mario Andretti, you need to check out track night with the SCCA. From the Auto Club Speedway in Fontana, this is J.R. Ibarra. For California Life. Audra and Mickey, this was so much fun. Thank you for joining us here on our special Halloween episode of California Life. I'm your host, Heather Dawson. If you missed any part of our show, please go to our website, CaliforniaLifeHD.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Mickey. Watch us on our YouTube channel. Stay connected to our social media, like our blogs on Facebook. Follow our tweets on Twitter. And check out our posts on Instagram and Pinterest, where we bring you the best of California.